Uh, welcome or welcome back to Dining Help at C Square. In this example, we need to solve a system of equation with three variables. And the first thing I do, I count the equation like this. It's going to help me to organize my next steps. And another thing that I notice is that equation number one and two, they both have x in it. And that tells me I can eliminate x very easy in these two equations by ju just by subtracting them. So let me copy the equation number one x plus 2y minus z equals 5 and let's copy equation number 2 x plus y plus 3z equals 6 and as i said we're going to subtract from 1 we're going to subtract the equation number 2 and let's see what we get This x is cancelled out when we subtract them, and then we have 2y minus y, that is just y, and negative z minus positive 3, that is negative 4z, and 5 minus 6 is negative 1. So this will be equation number 4. And now again, we have to select another pair. So I'm going to go with equation number 2 and 3. And I'm going to copy, and uh, the equation number 2 is x plus y plus 3z equals 6. And equation number 3 is 3x plus y plus 17z equals 20. So how do I eliminate x here? By multiplying the second equation by negative 3. The first equation, in fact, uh, in this case, the, the uh, number two equation by negative three. So let's do that and let's see what we get. We get negative three x minus three y minus nine z equals negative 18. So don't forget to multiply the right side also by negative three. In equation number three, we're going to keep it as it is three x plus y plus 17z equals 20. And now, as I said, I'm going to add these two equations. And these two guys cancel out. That's the reason we did that multiplication by negative 3. Negative 3y plus positive y, that is negative 2y negative 9z plus 17z, that is 8z, and negative 18 plus 20, that is positive 2. So this is the equation number 5, and I'm going to go with these two equations, number 4 and number 5. You notice I have just x, z, z and y, and y and z in them, and I'm going to try to solve them. So equation number 4 says y minus 4z equals negative 1. Equation number 5 says negative 2. y plus 8z equals 2. And let's say you want to eliminate y. So we're going to multiply equation number 4 by 2. So let me write that here. 4 times 2. And that will give us 2y minus 8z equals negative 2. And equation number 5 will stay. And we have negative 2y plus 8z equals 2. If we add these two equations, we're going to see what we get. And if we notice, we get 0 equals 0. So, that means this system of equation has infinitely many solutions. How do we find this solution? We're going to have to take, uh, for example, equation number 4, y minus 4z equals negative 1 and we're going to solve for y 
just adding 4z on both sides and we have y equals 4z minus y so this is the value of y and it's given with respect of z and we're gonna have to do the same for the x variable so for that reason I'm gonna take equation number one which says x plus 2y but y is for z minus 1 minus z equals 5 so we're gonna have here x plus 8z minus 2 minus z equals 5 and let's combine the z's and that will be plus 7z minus 2 equals 5 so basically uh, now we're going to subtract 7z and add 2 on both sides to solve for x and we end up with x equals negative 7 0 and positive 5 plus 2 is positive 7. This is x, this is y, and z can be any real number. Okay, you pick a value for z, plug it in these two expressions for x and y, and you get a possible solution. And that's the reason you can pick any real number. So obviously you're going to have a, a infinitely many solution, how we call it. So for, in, for instance, if I pick z equals uh, 1, I will end up with a y of 4 times 1 is 4, minus 1 is 3, and an x of uh, negative 7 times 1 is uh, negative 7 plus 7 is zero so a possible solution is zero three and one but like i said we have an infinitely many solution and a good way to see it is looking to the graph so on this uh, slide here you can see three planes each plane you represent one of this equation and they all intersect in this line which is the solution of the system of equation if you enjoy this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.